Intermediate Accounting 23B, Completed Contract Method, Construction in Progress. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep. And what I wanted to do was continue with the example that I was working on up here. And what we had just done was to walk through these three entries for the first year, 2012. And I want to pick up by saying, you'll note, that I put a summation formula here to make sure debits equal credits because revenue less expenses should equal profit, but I just want to make sure that that's a balanced entry. And if it doesn't balance, then I've made a mistake. 2013, the second year, construction in progress, a temporary parking account for that construction expense. It's going to be construction to date less the prior year. And we wrote checks so we reduce cash we have receivables because we sent out some bills so there's my billing 427 and i debit counts receivable to increase an asset i credit billings for construction in progress and temporary holding account i get some cash in the door because i collect on some billings and so that is linked to the 244000 Bear in mind that the billings and the collections on billings are separate. They're running separately. So that's the, second in, that's the third entry. And then the last entry is just like we saw above. First of all, we're going to recognize revenue on the contract, which is going to be the contract price times the percentage completed. And I put in parentheses that, as we found out at the top in the prior video, 40% of the project was completed in 2013. So not surprisingly, on the 2013 journal entry, to record revenue, if we see what's linked, we're going to take the contract price times the difference between 75 and 35, which is the 40% that was completed in 2013. That's our revenue. Our construction expense is that amount that was in construction in progress. And the difference is the 195,200, which also agrees to the 195,200 that we figured out at the top of the schedule, 2013 gross profit for the current year. So, those are the three entries for 2013. Let's do the last year, 2014. We spend money on construction. That agrees to the difference in between the two construction date numbers, which gives us the 2014 construction. And we wrote checks, so we credit cash. We build some people, so we create a debt, we debit an asset account called accounts receivable. That agrees to the billing number at the top, 854. And we credit an account called billings construction in progress. We get cash in the door because of cash collections. That's linked to the cash collections on billings 2014, the 756. And we have a receivable. And then finally, our last entry, the long-term contract. Revenue, the credit to revenue is the contract amount, million four sixty four times the difference between the 100 and the 75%. It also agrees to, I, I say at the bottom here, that we completed in 2014 25% of the work. That also agrees to that. amount right here, 25%, the completion by year that I figured out, the difference between the 100 and the 75. Finishing up this last entry, I'm going to sp spread this out so we can get, so we've got the expense, which was this construction in progress. 
We've got the revenue, the contract price times the 25% completed. And finally, we've got the gross profit, which was figured out on the prior video, the 140,300. So we've made these entries for all three years, which is normally requested in a, in a, uh, a question. Now, let's talk about this construction in progress account. You'll note that my construction expense, first of all, agrees to the total cost of the contract. So we debited an expense account called construction expense for 957700 which agrees to the total construction expense. You'll note that construction in progress is a temporary account that contains two things, the expenses each year and the gross profit each year, debit, 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 debit. You'll notice also that billings for construction is a temporary account and we were credit, credit, credit what we build and you'll see that the sum of the credits in billings construction a million four sixty four and the sum of the debits for construction in progress is a million four sixty four. So to clean out these two temporary accounts we have a closing entry with construction in progress and billings. We're going to credit construction in progress to bring the balance to zero. We are going to debit billings in progress to bring that balance to zero. And so at the bottom of the page, I have closing entry, billings in construction, a million four sixty four debit, construction in progress, a million four sixty four credit. I say here that both accounts are adjusted to zero at the end of the project and the reason is there's nothing in process anymore nothing in process anymore the last thing I did was I linked just so it's up here when we build somebody and we set up a receivable billings match receivables each year when we got cash in the door we reduced the receivable and we get the cash in the door right here and then finally when we have construction expense let's slide up a little bit farther when I have construction expense it was assumed that I spent cash so you'll see those credits to cash right here so everything's linked and so what we've done is account for the entire expense profit billings and collections for com the completed contract method. That's the end of completed con contract construction in progress. Again, we have our video textbooks, which are 30 minute to an hour summaries. You can email me for a listing of all the content in those videos. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, you can email me for a complete list of the videos on YouTube. For live one on one tutoring and ch live chat sessions, stltest.net is our website. Here's our email address and our phone number. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.